They picked the right day out of the weekend for that. As far as current conditions, we're looking from uh, Beach Island, a, a little bit of a hazy look out here uh, this afternoon, but definitely looking at some high clouds streaming over the area. As far as current conditions across the region from Aiken all the way to Thompson, we're looking at those temperatures in the low to mid 80s and just some variable winds, uh, if not out of the north in between about 8 to 12 miles an hour at times, a little bit less uh, for some areas. But looking at visible satellite, we have noticed just some of those high clouds streaming through the region. A few more clouds off to our west now starting to push through Atlanta and could move towards the CSRA. We do hope that they hold off enough for us to see the International Space Station, though, for tonight. Uh, that starts, that passage starts at 9.02 p.m. It'll enter from the northwest, depart towards the southeast, and it's a seven-minute passover, so nice and long and also nice and high with a max height of 85 degrees. So some uh, good opportunities right there to see that space station for tonight with a nice long and high passover uh, depending on cloud cover. As far as looking at the grilling forecast though, we are going to see those temperatures fall towards the upper 70s by about 8 p.m. and then we'll, we could see some 60s before midnight tonight. So it'll be a little bit cooler out there as far as the evening feel and then by tomorrow morning. We're talking about those temperatures close to 50 for some locations and even borderline upper 40s out there, depending on how much we can clear these skies out and also how calm the winds do stay overnight. So a very below average start expected for tomorrow, 10 plus degrees below average for some locations. As far as looking at the next few days, though, we'll see below average temperatures through Sunday and then Monday we see above average temperatures start to return, giving way to a hotter week. And we'll start to also see those daily chances for pop up showers and storms starting on Sunday and continuing into next week as well. Before tonight into tomorrow, we're going to keep things nice and dry. Just to see a few clouds passing at times, so that could help keep our temperatures closer towards those mid 50s for some locations. If we do see some clouds overnight as we continue, though, towards your Saturday afternoon, still nice and dry, but noticing a little more cloud cover as we head later into our Saturday. Then overnight into Sunday morning could see some rainfall chances popping up as early as the pre dawn hours of your Sunday and that on and off rain chance does continue into your Sunday afternoon. A very isolated feel, though, not everyone going to see rainfall on Sunday, but it will be a cloudier day in general. General, and then we'll kind of see those clouds start to break apart heading into Monday and we'll just continue those chances for some pop up showers and storms most days next week as we increase humidity and also look at high temperatures back near and over 90 by Tuesday. Thanks, Michaela. Minnesota police officers